Hello and welcome to Rockingham in the Arca car. We're getting some practice done here for the next league race. And uh, just got home from work, ready to get in here and lose to Justin Yee. <laughs> he's in the race and, uh, you know, you know he's fast. But uh, maybe we can learn something. We'll see. And uh, I'm not sure how my pace is going to be. Kind of just started getting out there, getting laps in. And, uh, well, now this is there's going to be a lot of learning done here, which is kind of the point. <laughs> First race of the week is always going to be a learning experience. Uh, we've got an okay strength of field for what I'm used to. Ooh, that wasn't a very good run of the line. Uh, decent strength of field for what I'm used to here. 2.3. Mm, kind of chicken on the throttle there. Just uh, trying not to get loose, just trying to get a solid lap in. One more lap. And right now, let's see, session optimal. Looks like we're trending up for this lap so far. Hmm. Alright, that'll be a little bit better, which is good because we're in seventh at the moment. That'll bring us back the third. Uh, we'll see how much, uh, how well that stays. I wonder who's going to be on pole. What? Justin Yee? <laughs> yeah, he's a good two tenths faster than the guy in second right now. Uh, we might get some more laps in, but uh, I'm going to be watching, watching him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was just talking to him. He says he's had some bad luck. Um, he's had some bad luck with his previous races so far to start the week. Just getting wrecked and... Um, having some trouble tires, I think he mentioned somewhere. <laughs> and he was he was excited to reach 7k I rating on this account, and now he's back at 6,500 because if you don't finish first as a guy with a higher I rating. Like, even me at 5,000, I've experienced that before. He's, like, 6,500 right now. And it was near 7,000. Like, if you don't finish, like, in the top three, if you end up in, like, 12th or something, you lose, like, 100 freaking eye rating every time. <laughs> eye racing's like, what, you didn't win? Into the dumpster with you. <laughs> so, um, hopefully he has some better luck this time. Um, he's allowed to win. He just can't make me look too bad. <laughs> he just wants it for the video, not gonna lie. Yeah. He, he's got those catchy uh, titles. Like, I'm sure he. Yeah, yeah, that's why I figured how I reached 7,000 I read. Yeah, he's got he's got a, he's got YouTube figured out. He's got the catchy eye catching uh, thumbnails and everything, and the catchy titles that gets everyone flocking. <laughs> Meanwhile, me over here, I don't even bother to make a good thumbnail. I just like take a uh, take a screenshot of the race and then just poop it out <laughs> onto the internet. Like half the time, I, I'm not even like I'm too lazy to even like put any. Uh, too much effort and Discord me the thumbnail for his next video. That'd be good. Um, so I'm hoping it goes well for him. He just wants to sleep, he was saying. Get a good race in. So, like I said, he's allowed to go win. It just doesn't... Just don't make me look too bad. We've gone down to fourth. But uh, that's okay. 
I don't know if Rockingham's going to be my best track. So I think I'll be happy if I can finish. Uh, well, let's say top half of the field. Let's do that. I think I'd be okay with that. Word of warning, I am hard tilting right now, so if I wreck, there may be some naughty words over this. <laughs> so I'm actually going to move my brake bias a little bit farther down. Just to race. Well, maybe not that much. Because you do have a pretty hard breaking zone. My rating, sorry. That's always funny whenever you switch screens and it starts doing it. I don't know if that does that for everyone else, but... I moved my brake bias down a little bit for the race, a little bit extra turn. I wanted to drive in harder for qualifying, that's why it was a little bit higher. But the braking zone is pretty hard here, and you can really get your car sideways, so I am a little bit nervous about getting too sideways on entry. Maybe I'll put it up a little bit here for now. We'll say 2%, and then we'll have room to move back down if it starts getting tight. So I think that's the plan there. So hopefully you learned something from Justin up there in first. Looks like we got some fast guys around us as well. I think the number seven mark, I think he might have been in that last league race as well. Unless I'm thinking of someone else. I don't remember having seen him before the last league race, but I think it might that might have been him. I don't know. I'm terrible with names. I forget my own. You don't get any so I didn't <laughs> need to know it all the time. But uh, other than that, we got like 17 car field here. It did split at least once, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a good one, I hope. Session last lap. That's what we need. But cool, one to green. This track is apparently big enough that we don't need to do two laps. All right, I'm impatient, so that's good news. Well, Alex, we've run the same amount of races, but you've done about triple the laps that I have. Yeah, that's all right. I think I know Alec, too. I think he's a streamer. I'm starting to get to know a lot of people on iRacing, just been here long enough. <laughs> I think I've had some good races with him before. Um, I, I'm expecting the unexpected. Looks like a first gear start. Hmm. I mean, it's simple though. Like, oh, you gotta be careful on throttle though, it looks like. Good to know. Yeah, true. To be honest, if I qualified by our last race, that guy would not have been there to wreck me. Well, you qualified by this race, so there you go. About to go green, stay focused. Hey, what kind of dummy would qualify poorly in this race? Could be worse, could be bottom split. Okay, Green comes out pretty s quickly here at Rockingham, so it makes sense. He wants to get a jump pretty soon after the pace car goes off. Don't really want to be out here, so I will go ahead and cut down. Oh yeah, that's definitely the 7. I recognize the pace game. That's definitely... He was the uh, 48 in the last race. Alright, cool. Good to see him here. Oh! No, 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 no. Don't come on the track. Yikes. Alright, we're okay. Just had to make it scary right off the start, <laughs> but we're fine. I'm gonna try to be good on the tires. Actually, I kinda want the brakes a little farther back. It's not quite getting the rotation I want. So I'm gonna adjust that just a little bit. We're not quite close enough to make a pass. Cody, is that Chevy Cavalier on the back of your car? Just done at 24.7. The guy behind has just done at 24.5. Trying to be good on the car. I'm going to move back a little more. I think I was a bit too nervous than I needed to be. I think this is... Handle it. More smoke. That's kind of scary. Okay, we're going to get on the inside of five. Car outside. It's gonna outdrive us though. Alright, he's bouncing off the wall and hitting me. That's alright, it was not intentional, I imagine. 
I don't think it did anything to us. Hopefully it didn't do anything crazy with netcode or anything. You never know what netcode's going to decide happen. Third place. Okay. That's some nice rotation out of a uh, corner out of two there. Just gotta make sure we don't get too much, because it will kind of snap on you here. This is a very uh, snap-happy track, it seems like. It seems like out of the corners it can really get you. For example, in the mirror, just saw somebody snap, it looked like. And it ended up down there on the apron. So, some scary things happening to guys. I'm gonna try not to be one of them getting sideways. If I can help it. I imagine they probably didn't want to do that either, but... We've got some space behind, at least for the moment, so hopefully I can prevent anything too crazy from happening. Sorry man, I got that notice late. Trying to turn the car as much as I can with brakes and throttle rather than the steering wheel. I like my uh, lower steering ratios. But so long as I'm not turning the wheel very much, um, it should be okay. I'm feeling good. Still early, obviously, but car uh, is not like feeling bad or anything. Which is good. It's good for me, because if it was already feeling bad, we'd be in trouble. I like seeing them fight back there a little bit, make sure they're not coming my way. The more they stay back there, the better for me. I don't want to be fighting anybody unnecessarily. Side by side, just going to hurt the tires and make us both slower. Those guys ahead are up there, but they are not pulling away like crazy. So if I can somehow do be a little bit better on the tires, maybe I can reel them back in a little bit. But uh, I'm not convinced I'm not also being bad on the tires while being slower than them. <laughs> How about that? Let a dumbass body take you out. Bruh. Bruh. Your lap time was... I was letting a motherfucker by. Oh, P2 into the wall. Is that what that was? Thanks a lot. I gave in. We got going guys on. really hurting on the on the apron down there. Well, then why did you lift my rear end coming out of two? That's not letting me by, bro. You just done it. You slid right back out in front of me. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. Ooh, we got arguments. You're right, a rear ender is Wow, the, the seven in the wall again, ball. it looked like, up there, but he's not losing much time. He's got the Gavin strategy, it's working for him. Gavin in the wall. I say that with the utmost respect for Gavin and his racing methods. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind everyone teasing him about the wall hits. So clearly he he's just fine, he just won the last league race. So he, he's doing just fine out here. And, uh, they are pulling away still. So if I'm gonna start reeling them in at any point, I hope it happens before too long. Just done a you know, this isn't, uh, this isn't one of the league races where you got 133 laps or whatever we're gonna be doing coming up here. Yeah, just 40, and that was, oh my god, maybe the worst corner I've done ever. That was awful. It's all the way back. No more concern for me of uh, looping it on a trigger or anything. I think those guys ahead probably are faster and saving time, so I'm just gonna worry about keeping it steady back here. Trying to have a better 3 and 4, because I think I'm really losing time in 3 and 4 at the moment. I have the feeling my tires are not going to be pretty at the end of this. The captain Daffin behind is now 
It's a better run out of four that time. That last lap was at 24.9. That cat is going nuts in the litter box. I don't know what his problem is. Uh, we've got someone being a little bit unpredictable here as a flat car, it looks like. It looks like he's a little bit swervy. Hopefully we can get around just fine. <laughs> I wonder if that's coming through in that video. Oh, now he's idiot running. Wow, he is being very distracting, actually. Messed up one and two there. <laughs> Let me worry less about my cat digging to China in the little box. And more on this car that I'm driving. It was a weird decision to put... Oh my god, what is your problem, dude? It was a weird decision to put a litter box in my car, but, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yep, he's doing the idiot run. <laughs> Hold me a little bit tight there for no reason, but we're okay. I can tell I just need to get more practice because I'm I'm pretty inconsistent right now. Um, I mean, there's no reason I should be up a tenth this lap compared to last lap. Give me the bomb, bud. Thank you. Almost two tenths. Like, there's no reason that should be happening other than me not hitting my marks correctly. So, uh, just gotta improve a little bit. That's why I'm here. Hopefully, you can uh, get some good experience in. And have a nice race this Sunday. We've got a battle for the lead, by the way. Mark up there. Hey, if he shows up for uh, the league race this Sunday, he looks like he's going to have some great speed. Look out for him. Justin's able to hold on to it for now. However... still feels pretty good. It's getting a little tighter, but nothing unmanageable. Just normal tightness you would expect from getting longer to run. Overdrove that a tiny bit. Man, it really does slow you down to overdrive it, though. So let me make sure I'm trying to avoid overdriving one and two anymore. If I can not do that, that'd be great. Colton, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Yo, see, look at that green. Alright, that, there's a good tip. Don't overdrive one and two. Seems like if you keep it closer to the bottom, it can really help out. You can roll the bottom. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Seems to work out alright. Halfway, it looks like we might actually be reeling them in up there. Although they're probably just worried about each other. And uh, that's slowing them down a, a tiny bit. Go ahead, Forrest. We'll see. We still have a long way to go if we want to catch them. About two and a half seconds. More than that, even. That lap was at 25.2. I am A-OK -okay with where I am, though. If I finish third, I finish third. Number two car, it's right about where I'm supposed to be. And if it's because uh, a member of Nick's community, Mark, up there, finishes ahead of me, well, hey, that's a, that's a great thing. I will take it. Gap two, Daffy behind is now 1.4. I am watching that three behind us. He's holding about steady, so I can't make any mistakes, or he'll be reeling me in. I'm gonna say hi on the turn, Jibble. That lap time was 25.3. Okay, Colton. Some more lap traffic coming up. Hopefully, we'll be able to get around easily enough. They do. They are battling for position, so we might have to expect them not to give as much room. 
Gotta be aware of their situation too whenever you're coming up on lap traffic. And tell you uh, about how easy or hard they might be making it. Seems like guys are actually drifting up in one and two. Maybe maybe that's the better way to do it. I'm not sure. Of course I'll be watching Nick and Gavin do their race. As of the time I'm recording this, they have done their race, because it's the first race of the week. But uh, I have not watched it because it's not out yet. Just done I'll of course be watching those and maybe I'll learn something from there as well. I always seem to learn something. What is that guy doing? Oh, Jesus. That was very close. Don't do that. <laughs> if you're a lap car, do not do that. Don't dive to the apron and then be unable to stick it down there. That is a bad way to get out of, get out of the way of lead lap guys. Probably just do the easy thing and take the high line. I promise it's better for everybody. I should have given him a little more room there. I pushed up a little bit higher, higher than I wanted to, but okay. I'll probably just get on the apron if you guys are still side by side when you get your man. Battling a little bit again up there, but I'm getting caught from behind now all of a sudden. Seems like the tires are falling off for me. It's not ideal. Yeah, he's coming. My lap times are falling off. So I have not done a good job of saving, apparently. I'm not gonna fight him too hard when he gets here, because it's clear that he is much faster. Try to prevent him from getting here, but if he is here, then I'm not gonna fight him side by side or anything. Here he goes! Car inside. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Thanks, man. No problem, go get him! <laughs> Five, I'll give you the low side here going in the one, too. Oh, we're trying, brother. <laughs> he's got about ten laps. It seems like he's probably got a uh, better set of tires. Whoa! I got a little loose. He got a little close to the wall. Uh, Almost feels like just backing off for a little bit, letting him buy, <laughs> help the tires cool down for a second, and give me a little bit, a little bit more grip than I've been having. But that's probably just in my head. That lap time was twenty five point seven. <laughs> I think I'm kind of just figuring out how to drive this car a little bit better with more worn tires. I'm still not very fast, but I can manage it a little bit better if I use the brakes a little more smartly. <laughs> I don't think smartly is a word. Is smartly a word? More smart? More smartest? Yeah, use the brakes more smartest. That's the best way to say that. I think three might run out of time. They've got a great battle going on ahead. Justin is in second. Mark has taken the lead. Like I said, he might be one to watch coming up here. Thank you, brother. In the league race, if he can make it. 
And overdrive it when someone's on your outside. That's definitely a non-negotiable one. It's one thing to do it when I'm on my own, but I can't be overdriving when someone's on my outside. Because that's how you get in a wreck. At least it looks like we'll be able to hold on to fourth. For a massive three I rating gain if I finish here. <laughs> it's the grind. We'll be up to 7,000 in no time, like Justin oh, almost is. Yeah, right. <laughs> it seems like the tires are plateauing. I don't know if I'm losing any more than I have been. There might be something to taking the high line in 1 and 2. It looks like a couple of the fast guys are doing that, and it's working. Do I dare try that right now, though? Seems like three and four. Bottom is still the place to be. Let me take a look at how these guys are doing that in turn one. You've got two left to go. Two to go. Your lap time was 25.8. Hmm. That yeah, wasn't really faster. That was pretty equal. On speed for me, and I think it was probably worse on the tires. Probably a way to do that that's better, but uh, the way I did it didn't <laughs> didn't do much for me. That lap time was 25.8. Shaman Roger running hard, gonna wait by my bed. Yeah, I don't know how to do that right. Clearly, I just lost me a tenth, but. Looks like Mark got the win. Good race, good win. Good race, man. Good one, Mark. Justin, you're on the finish block. Congratulations. There's the flag. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, that was not very good. But uh, it was fun. Yeah, I was trying my best to take you out there on the first lap, but I took myself out instead. <laughs> Fun race in Stacey, that was a lot of fun, man. I'll take that, that was pretty good. I like rocking here a lot. Man. Not the greatest at it, but I like it. All those guys we went around, man, that was very, very good. 69.82, that's embarrassing. I bet it's not good. Uh, you're welcome for moving out of the way. <laughs> I will share, hopefully get some right. information. They're trying to shut the door, every one of them. Uh, to be fair, in that last one had, and I think you would have had me. Got some work to do, I think, on the tire yeah, saving. I have messed up a couple times. I hadn't run this track in a long time, and uh, I didn't even qualify. So. Interesting. Was, so his yeah, right front was worse, right, but he was right, better on the right rear. My fastest laps at the end. That tells me I might need to push a little harder on exit. Yeah, you've never run this before. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if he's the, if he's the winner, that's something to take note of. Yeah, next one. And incidents. First, let's take a look, because we didn't get to see it. Um, the number three, that's the number he was, right? Yeah, and the number three, getting loose, cold tires. Yeah, he just gets sideways. I wouldn't expect to lose grip like that right there, but I guess he gasses it up, and the tires just were not ready to give him grip. Of course, he comes up and passes us later, so... <laughs> Interesting. Mark's part of another league. So that's where he got his good practice, he says. Six spinning, also on lap one. Huh. I guess three and four can be pretty treacherous on the pulled tires, so watch out for that. Lap two. Fifteen gets it loose. That's that snap I was telling you can happen out of the corner here. Ooh, I don't think the car had knew that uh, the four was going to be alongside him there. The fourteen, he wasn't on his outside until the last second, 
And I think as the four, you just have to anticipate that. You have to anticipate that they're going to be tight on exit and not stick your nose there. It stinks to have to lift off like that. I mean, it really looks like he's going to be able to hold it down there, but he just is not able to. And he doesn't know he's alongside him because, well, he's not alongside him until right there. And the 14 is probably not going to be able to change course. Course correct with that late of notice. So as the four there, I think maybe you just kind of have to see the situation and let off just for your own self-preservation. But easy to say for me and, and watching from here, probably much harder for them to anticipate something like that actually in the car. Teen wall on entry, and then ends up going into the corner pretty fast. Figured it out though. Ooh, 14 getting sideways, and then the 16. Oh no, we got a pile up. So the 14 gets loose low down there. 16's not able to react in time. And then the 15, nowhere to go. So we got a multi-car pile up. Oh, that's a pretty serious crash. Mm. And then the 15 kind of just... I think they might have broken their car and couldn't steer. That's what it looks like. And then the 4 tries to sneak by but just can't quite... Oh no! Wow, that's some bad luck for the 16. 16's like, alright, I got past it. Now the, <laughs> the wreck reached out and grabbed him back in. That was the crash that just kept giving. And then later we see the guys on the apron as we drive by. They were broken and going slow. 11 not able to get it turned out of the corner. The 6 is a lap car hitting the wall. While I am, I assume, trying to give room. DJ, when you hit the wall and you cross me over, I was like, this motherfucker. Hmm. Wall on exit again. 11. That, is he going to go up and hit the wall again? Yeah, you really have to be careful on exit here. It's kind of like Dover, where it can really just throw you up into the outside wall if you get on the throttle too hard. So the 6 having some serious issues this race, seems like. Some teen in the wall. I remember a scary moment getting around him, if I remember correctly. 11 finding some more wall. Oh, then 9. I remember seeing him in the open practice beforehand. I'm surprised he didn't do a little bit better because he had some very fast uh, practice laps. Qualified 8th. Still a good finish. 9th is the 9 car. And zero incidents, so that's a good race. He was just, he was very fast in the open practice. He had a really good lap in there. 11 struggling to get it turned. Ooh, that's not turning at all. His right front's really hurting, I think. Approaching the end of the race. Yeah, some guys, you can tell, are just limping it around. Maybe they have damage, but not. Just really just trying to push super hot on the last lap. <laughs> just trying everything he can. And it looks like it might be after the race. Yes. I think guy's just messing around at this point. 11, uh, taking frustration out on the wall that hurt him so many times. So, frustrating one for him. That I was on, running, uh, if you ever want to climb out, you can. So, we get P4. I can never do 12 to 1. It, uh, I'm, I'm high burn tires all, all as it is. I can't do 12. Qualified 4th, finished 4th. I'll take it. Massive 3 I rating game. <laughs> and uh, we kept it safe. It. Which is good. I'll uh, mute that for now just so I can say thanks for watching. 
And I hope you enjoyed. Um, I learned some things for the league race coming up. I'll probably do some more practice races on my own time in anticipation. But uh, as always, lots of fun in the ARCA car. So uh, I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time.